Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. So SushiSwap made a statement. It went higher despite the difficulties of the market. Before we begin, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go right now and see what SushiSwap could potentially do. So right here you can see that SushiSwap has a top trend line and a bottom one. In the weekly frame, we can say that this is a descending triangle. In the daily frame, we can say that maybe this is a bearish pennant. Anyway, whatever the thing is here, and whichever way you look at it, the most probable scenario it is to have a bearish pennant formation. But at the end of the day, we have done something that I really like with Sushi Shop. We have closed above the top trend line, and eventually we had even a nice daily pump. Now, this is very good, but what we need to do in order to confirm that this is a pump going all the way up higher and not something that, of course, could go with a fake out actually, and then we go further down because we have seen that happening before. Okay, we have seen fake outs out of buries patterns like descending triangles, like bearish pennants, like rising wedges, okay, like bear flags and so on. We have seen multiple times that we make a fake out and then we just go down. For example, a fake out, a good fake out for the sushi swap right now would be to retest the 20 day MA, go up here at 1.57, sorry, and then we go all the way down, pushing even lower than the one USD. Can this happen? Let's find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the drawings and I'm going to draw a Fibonacci retracement, this time from the top to the bottom. You can see that we are having a huge resistance level sitting at where we are right now with the non-logarithmic scale. With the logarithmic scale, we have as well one huge resistance level, and that is the 1.412 followed by the 1.389. Okay, so this whole rectangle right here is a crazily huge resistance level. Now, what I want to say is, if we go back all the way and close above the 1.412, then we can manage to pull it off towards the 1.615. There we will have probably a week and a nice plus 14%. Then we are going to close probably below the 20 day MA, and this is where the fake out could begin. Okay, personally for me, after having a burst pennant formation right there, we could be having a fake out to the upside and then we go all the way back down. That is though, if we can manage to close above the 1.389 and 1.412 in the weekly scale or in the daily scale. However, in you, if we can see the charts right here, Okay, following back the daily frame and what we need to do, it is to close above the 1.615. In overall, you can see why this is a hugely important resistance level. Look at the rejection that SuSwap found right there. And this is the reason that it went correcting all the way down. And now we are retesting the 0.618. And after, if we close above, even on the daily frame, even on the daily, it is fine, it is okay, all right, we are minimizing a little bit the risk, then we can go to the 1.615, and there we will see if we can close above, then we go all the way up. Look at me, if we close above the 1.615, but this has to be in the weekly frame, then literally, sushi swap can explode to 2.331. Okay, so we have to do this, but always remember, that we are having a very pennant or a descending triangle ahead of us. I repeat in the weekly frame, this is a descending. In the daily frame, we can say that this is more like a very pennant rather than descending. Anyway, for the time being, we cannot say that SushiSwap is bullish in the daily or in the weekly frame or it is going into an impulsive wave. Okay, nothing of this, we cannot say that, but we have the exact targets that we need to close above in order to move to the next ones. And here, this is what we are doing on Mind Your Crypto. Okay, and of course, we are having the 1.615, 2.331, and the 1.389, 1.412 is now the huge resistance level that we have to go, we have to close above in order to go to the 1.615 and even, even higher to move even higher into the 1.92 and then the 2.33, which will be from here a very huge pump of around plus 65%, although that will go 
against what we are forming right now, which is most likely very span and the most probable scenario, for example, it is for now to just go down from here. Eventually, though, as we talked about, the good part for the sushi swap is that even on the weekly frame, if I connect the um here the top, okay, the tops you can see. On the weekly frame, we tend to close above, we want to close above, but at the end of the day, we haven't yet. And this can turn out to be a red candlestick as well. What we need to do, as you can see in the top trend line, it is to close above this area right here. If we do not, then we won't proceed towards the 1.615. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Crypto, and of course, see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.